Okay, today we are going to be talking about one of our most award-winning cocktails here at the Twisted Tail. So one of our previous videos, we opened up our recipe books and shared with you our time after time. This is probably one of our second favorite cocktails for the customers, but definitely a judge favorite when we take it to different whiskey competitions. And the best thing of all, it's very simple to make. So we're gonna teach you all how to make it so you can enjoy this cocktail at home and you can enjoy it when we're open back here at the Twisted Tail. It is called the Devil's Tail. Originally, this cocktail was conceived using Devil's Cut bourbon, which is essentially a double barrel bourbon. Um, much more woody uh, tannic notes to it than a regular Jim Beam, which is a Jim Beam product. Um, so for today, we're using something similar along the Jim Beam line, but we're using Jim Beam Black, which is our extra aged bourbon. Again, giving you more of the tannic um, woody notes and a little bit more sustenance to match to some of the rich ingredients that we're gonna be putting into this cocktail. So we're starting off being a stirred cocktail this time. So go ahead and fill your cocktail maker with ice. And then we will be putting in two ounces of your bourbon. We're gonna be matching that with a really powerfully flavored ingredient called Pedro Jimenez. It is a style of sherry. Um, it is typically thicker, a little bit more syrupy, and containing a lot of dried, raisinated, fruity notes. It's really, really rich. It's great just to sip by itself, but also very good as a cocktail ingredient, especially when pairing with dark spirit like bourbon or like rye, just because of those heavy flavors that really bounce. So we have two ounces or two parts of our bourbon. We're putting one part or one ounce of our sherry straight in here as well. Letting the ice do the work as we're building this drink. The third thing for our cocktail is going to be bitters. So this is a black walnut bitters. Double dash of the black walnut bitters. Has a very nutty note um, as well and some maple syrup caramelized notes which are gonna pair but well with both of these two other ingredients that we've added today. So that's all for the, for the uh, cocktail mix. Gonna give that a really nice stir. What we're aiming for when we're stirring a drink is not only to chill it down, but also to melt the ice so that we have a nice dilution and a water content in our, in our cocktail. We put some heavy flavors in there, so that dilution is really gonna help balance it, blend it all together and give us something really tasty. All right, that's got there. We're gonna prepare the glass. So we can let that sit on the ice there for a moment. Take your rocks glass or double old fashioned glass and we're gonna spritz this with absinthe. Absinthe has an anise licorice profile to it um, and is very, very strong in flavor. So preferably we're not going to rinse and dump. Uh, you can do that, but be very careful that you're not leaving too much in the glass because it can very much easily overpower the cocktail. So if you have a spritzer or an empty cologne bottle, perfume bottle, make sure it's rinsed out really well and you can use that instead just to really delicately coat the inside of the glass. The absinthe is gonna add a really nice fresh aroma. When you bring it to your mouth, you'll be able to pick up those scents, but it also does balance out with the flavor. Even just that small amount is going to adjust the flavor really to give it a freshness on the palate um, to cleanse the palate after each sip. So here we go. This drink is a nice rich whiskey forward drink. So for the ice choice for this glass, we're gonna use a large cube. You can find these molds online very easily. This particular one makes a nice round cube, but you can have the six packs that will make two inch blocks of ice as well. Just go ahead, add your cube to the glass, and then we will be pouring our cocktail straight over the top of that. We will be doubly, double straining this cocktail. So we're going through a regular cocktail strainer and then through a fine tea strainer into the glass. The purpose for that is just to catch any of the ice chips that have broken off and floating around in the cocktail so that we don't have a big punch of rocky ice in our, in our sip. Okay, it's looking almost ready to drink. But of course, we want there to be visual appeal to this as well. The large rock is playing a part in that, but we're gonna be garnishing with a nice fresh lime wheel, which is just a straight cross section of lime. And we're going to put that onto our pick with a little cherry that we have soaked in bourbon. So these are marasca cherries. 
It's like a dark version of a maraschino, but they're much more rich in flavor. Um, we strain them out of their syrup and then mix that with a two to one uh, bourbon syrup, bourbon and simple syrup, two parts to one. Let that sit and once it's in there, it can sit for months and months. Uh, it really gets a really nice flavor and of course, something to look forward to at the end of the drink, which we will be enjoying right now. Cheers, the devil's tale.